Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm coming at you with another Dolph Lundgren review, continuing on with the Dolph-a-thon. And today we are going to talk about Hidden Assassin, which is about as generic and as bland and as unoriginal as you could get. <laughs> I, I kind of forgot all about that with this movie but uh yeah it's about as bland and unoriginal and you could see it coming a mile away as you could get so there you have it but before we go any further if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request you may do so down below in the description box there's a link to my paypal account no amount is too big no amount is too small. It does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series or cartoon, comic book, video game, music, random thoughts, rants, streams, commentaries, and anything in between. That's what it's there for. So again, if you're interested, go ahead, send one in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. And for those that have sent them in before, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel and you want to see me try some different things and it does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos so it's a win-win for everybody you guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel and I keep making them and at the end of the day everyone goes home happy just like they used to say at Blockbuster so thank you Hidden Assassin um, again this is about as <laughs> unoriginal and, and generic and all that as you can get um you've seen this movie before you've seen it since there's better ones that are out there there's definitely worse ones that are out there but this is pretty bland this is pretty forgettable um it's a disappointing entry in the Dolph filmography i will say that um so Dolph Lundgren this time plays a now here's the weird thing he plays a US marshal and in the beginning of the film, there's this text that says, you know, if someone commits a, a crime, a federal crime on American soil, you know, they can be pursued by the U.S. Marshals. But in the movie, you know, he works for the CIA, which, I mean, the CIA kind of has their own people to do that. So I don't know if that was just an oversight or... The writers just didn't care or what have you, but I always thought it was kind of odd how Dolph plays a U.S. Marshal, but he's working for the CIA. I guess they didn't really think that one through. Anyway, um, Dolph's character gets called in because, who is it? Um, Cuban ambassador gets killed in New York. I couldn't remember because I don't want to remember. And Dolph's character gets called in because they have a suspect. The suspect is a woman. Uh, she's in Prague, where the whole movie was shot. And he goes there. He gets her. He starts to find out that it's not actually her. By the end of the movie, you find out it's his own people. It's his buddy, and it's all a setup, and blah, 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 blah. You've seen it before. You have seen it since. Like I said, there's some that are better, there's some that are worse. Oh well. Yeah, so this is disappointing for many reasons. Number one, you have Dolph Lundgren and the director of First Blood, Ted Kochiff, who also did um, Uncommon Valor, right? Didn't Ted? Yeah, Uncommon Valor, which is a very underrated movie as far as I'm concerned. And he also did um, the first Family of Cops with uh, Charles Bronson. Yeah, Uncommon Valor. He did the original Dick and Jane. He did North Dallas 40. Weekend at Bernie's. Um, all movies, you know, that I enjoy. Um, he did this. And then he did, uh, yeah, the first Family of Cops with Charles Bronson, which I like. So you have Dolph Lundgren and the guy that did the first Rambo movie and Uncommon Valor and you got nothing now I don't know if just the script was that bad or it was by design or what have you but considering that you have two pretty big names in this genre working together 
you would have thought that they would have got a little more bang for the buck. They would have got a little more out of this movie. But again, I don't know if the script was just that bad or things changed or what have you. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty, pretty unoriginal and pretty bland. Again, you can see it coming from a mile away. Okay, yeah, Dolph's got to go get this woman. She's the shooter, which was the original title for this movie. And we'll get more into that in a minute here. And then they spend time together, and you find out that it's not her, and then there's the twist at the end where it's his buddy. You've seen it all before, folks. You really have. You know, the one thing I will, actually a couple things I'll give this movie. It is well shot. It's well directed. So I can't complain about that. Like I said, the whole movie was shot in Prague. It was supposed to take place and be shot in France, and they changed it, thank God, because fuck the French. Um, so then they switch it to Prague and I mean, Prague looks nice. I've never been there, but you know, the movie looks nice. Dolph does fine, you know, with what he has to work with. John Ashton's in the movie. Spoiler alert. You find out he's the shooter. He does fine. It's always good to see him. Gavin O'Hurley, he who played, uh, Fraker in Death Wish 3, which is a much better movie. He plays your typical government slime ball. He does fine in the film. The lady that you think is the shooter and her and Dolph end up getting together, she does okay. She's not the best actress in the world. She's not the worst. You, of course, they always, in all these movies, they always force the fucking romance, and I hate it. I hate, again, I don't know how many times I've had to say it. I'm going to say it a gazillion more times in the future. You don't always have to have the love. Fuck, I'm so kind of fluffled. Um, here I go making up words again. You don't always have to have the love story in there. Not every single movie, whether it's an action film or it's a horror film or whatever, you don't always need the romance. You don't need to shove it in there. And it bothers me, particularly in action movies, because I think there's a shit ton of action movies out there which didn't need the love story. You don't always have to force it in. It's rather annoying. So they try to do that, which, again, really pisses me off. There's some decent bits of action. There's a couple of car chases. There's some shootouts, some fisticuffs. Um, there's a action scene where Dolph is, like, running on top of a train, which he actually got hurt doing that. And him in pain is real. It's not part of the acting. But you've seen it all before. You've seen it all before, folks, and you've seen it since. It's just another generic movie. Unfortunately, Dolph Lundgren had to be a part of it. I'm sure they paid him well. But this is one of the many Dolph Lundgren movies, whether we've talked about it before, whether it's cover-up or fucking pentathlon, and it's going to be a lot more movies where... You know, again, I don't know if it was the script. That's just how the script was written. And it's like, okay, well, let's try to put something together here. Or it changes as it went along. Or, again, the money wasn't there or what have you. But, you know, I guess Dolph had nothing better to do. You know, again, I, I'm assuming that the paycheck was nice. I'm, I'm assuming there was a good deal there. Or that's all he was offered at the time. But, you know... It's like, okay, I would much rather have him do a movie like this, the one at the bottom, which is actually the only good movie in this three-pack. This three-pack, by the way, I don't know if it was my very first DVD update or was one of them when I called them DVD updates, because uh, that's what I was still buying mostly at the time. But um, I think this was in the very first DVD update, and I'm getting rid of it because... The good one's on Blu-ray. The other ones I don't care about. I think Hidden Assassin has a Blu-ray overseas. Actually, Blackjack does as well. But I don't care about these two movies. Again, this, you know, I wouldn't even call it a time waster. It's a waste of time because there's so many better variants of this movie out there. Way better variants of these movies out there. Um... Overseas, it's called The Shooter. That was the original title. And then for here in America, they change it to Hidden Assassin. Why, I don't know. And they cut like 15 minutes out of the movie. But all the scenes that they cut were more 
dramatic fluff scene. So again, sometimes things need to be cut. Sometimes things get cut for a reason. But yeah, um, at the end of the day, you know, it, honestly, you know, like with Pentathlon, you know, if you are a hardcore Dolph Lundgren fan like I am, I wouldn't recommend this. You've seen this movie before. You've seen a better version of this movie. You've definitely seen worse versions, too. I'm not going to lie. But skip it. I mean, in all honesty, just skip it. I've only ever seen this movie one other time when I bought this DVD over 10 years ago. I didn't like it then, and I still don't like it. Because there's so much more that could have been done. Again, you have Dolph Lundgren and the director of First Blood and Uncommon Valor. There could have been more done there. And again, I don't know if it was for the reasons that I mentioned. It was a money thing. It was a, it was a timing thing. The script just sucked. I don't know. But uh, I will never, ever watch this movie again. It, it's, it's just so... It's so paint by numbers. I think the best way to say it, it's paint by numbers. You already know what is going to happen before it happens. And then when you get to the end of the movie, you're like, oh... Didn't see that coming. So, yeah. So, I'll call this a mild rant because, you know, it's just so much better. And, again, I, it, it's not just Dolph. It's everyone. It's every single actor, whether it's this genre or others. You know, they have good movies. They have bad movies. They have shitty scripts. They have good scripts. They have good budgets. They have shitty budgets. They have good directors. They have bad directors. Every single actor deals with it. Um... But, you know, the ones that I like, I get a little mad sometimes because there's always potential to do something with these guys. And like I said, I don't know if just they paid Dolph a shit ton of money. And he's like, yeah, I'll do that. I'll go to Prague for a few months. Or his agent was shitty at the time. He's like, hey, Dolph, we want you to do this. I don't want to do that. Well, you're doing it and they're going to pay you five million. All right, well, I'll be there. I don't know. but. I'm never going to watch this movie again. I don't suggest you watch this movie because, again, you it's paint by numbers. You will figure the fucking movie out, even though I gave it away, but who cares? Fuck this movie. <laughs> um, next up, we're going to, don't worry, we're getting to the good ones, some good ones next. Um, next up will be Silent Trigger, which I love. I would definitely put it in the top 10. I think it's one of Dolph's best movies. And, um, you know, he got to work with a great director on that one, Russell Mulcahy. So until the next time, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and we will talk later. See ya.